Now here's our filter I was telling you about. This filter, I'll just set it down here and give you a detail. These are just brass fittings. Uh, this is all half inch, by the way. This is a piece of half inch copper pipe that's soldered into a, a brass fitting as well. And uh, inside here, I have a screen of an old sink faucet. Uh, it's made out of brass as well uh, down in the bottom of that but I'm going to take the bottom off here and show you what's inside uh, now you might be embarrassed to buy these things but uh, you can always get your wife or your daughter or granddaughter or somebody to buy you one but uh, guess what's in there you guessed it a tampon that's just a regular old half inch in diameter tampon that fits inside there. Uh, I know it looks disgusting and all, but it uh, does a good job. Leave a little tail hanging off there so you can pull it out of there and uh, put that thing in there. Those things are pretty absorbent. Uh, uh, women wouldn't need them if they weren't uh, absorbent, but uh, anyways a lot cheaper than those little little plastic ones uh, and easier to uh, maintain I think you don't have to throw a bunch of stuff away other than the tampon out of the back I suggest replace that thing every time you paint a car or something but uh, anyways that's a good little good little filter right at the end of the gun this screws right at the end of the gun it's the last filter. I go through three filter systems before I paint. I don't want any fish eyes. Most fish eyes in your paint jobs isn't from oil uh, on the vehicle. It's more from your gun using hoses that are made for your air tools. Uh, you want to designate a hose strictly for finishing. But uh, anyways, there's that filter.